Butcha and I'm a fifth grade teacher at Pearson's Corner. Today we set up the room like an operating room and students had to complete problems using order of operations to save their patient's life and their goal was to get through 10 patients. I think dressing up adds to the excitement. It makes them feel like they are surgeons. They come in in the morning and they see the room and they don't necessarily know what's happening and then they get the parts and I heard them talking today like, oh, I just saved a patient because it was brain surgery or I've got to help them quick, quick, quick or they're reading the patient info card and getting to know their patients. They really take on the role as a doctor and they get into it and they want to do well and they want to continue on and do the next problem. Where a regular worksheet, they're dreading to do the next three problems. Where here they want to get through as many as it is they can because it's a challenge and it's fun and they're doing it and it's hands-on and they're putting the band-aid on their patients and they're saving their lives using the order of operation. It was really fun and I learned a bunch of new stuff. I learned more about improper fractions and the way to do order of operation because you have to do it in a specific way to get the right answer. It was really fun because we got to save people's lives and we got to do math. Well, we did the operation and they had like different um, body parts that we had to put a band-aid on the person for the um, answer to the problem. I'm hoping they can look back on this and Remember when I was in Ms. Gonowich's fifth grade class and we did the order of operations and it just clicks for them. They remember the order and they remember why it's important. And today it was important because it helped them save lives. We are here.